Hey, what's up everybody? We're back with another tutorial in Cubase. Uh, I'm gonna show you all how to do pitch bend with Groove Agent. It's not exactly uh, intuitive and somebody had asked me in the comments, how do you do it? And I said, oh, you just go to the pitch tab, which is sort of true, but it's sort of not true. There's some other things you can do to gain a little bit more control. So let's just jump into Cubase right now. As you can see, I have dissolved the MIDI part and I have the snare selected. And that is a big thing, but we'll get to that later. Let's just go back to when I didn't have the MIDI part dissolved. And we'll look at our kick snare. Well, this defaults to zero and zero. If you were to start uh, Groove Agent SE4, you would take a look at this and you would see the main tab. So these are your samples. And you'd have your kick and your snare. And the pitch on all of these, uh, the pitch bend defaults to zero. So if you want to pitch bend your snares, especially because, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, those types of moves are popular and hip hop these days, uh, you'll have to adjust the snare. So what I did for what you saw at the beginning of the video was I made it an octave, which is 12 semitones, uh, up and down. And as you can see on the controller, Uh, <laughs> it pitch bends an octave up and down, which is all well and good, except for let's say you wanted to have pitch bend on the kick and you wanted it to go up and down two semitones maybe. So, well, when you're using uh, an undissolved MIDI part, the pitch bend will work on everything. So it'll sound a little strange like so. As you can see, the pitch bend is working on the kick at the same time it's working on the snare, which is no bueno. So what we wanna do is dissolve the MIDI part, and that's actually pretty easy. Uh, if you don't choose, this will default to no drum map. And if you don't choose a drum map, you'll just get bars on a grid here. And when you dissolve it, it'll say C, C sharp, D, F sharp, but if you actually choose the drum map, and Groove Agent is great because you can just create drum map from instrument, you'll have the names sort of easier to sort out. So what you would do is you'd have the drum track selected, you'd go to MIDI, and you would do dissolve part. And you typically do it on pitches for drums because each pitch will be a different drum hit. And you can do that, and you'll see hi-hat closed, snare here in the parts. Uh, perk 2, hi-hat open, and kick. So then the kick will only work on the kick if you have the kick selected. So if you play. But if I select the snare, it'll only work on the snare. Pretty cool, huh? So that is how you pitch bend in Groove Agent, or it's one way, it's the way that I typically do it. And it's so much easier to work after you dissolve the parts. And then, I mean, if I were doing this on a real project, I would do relabeling, like GA kick, you know, GA perk, so that I wouldn't get it confused because uh, it's easy to get confused. So I would re-label all these so I knew which drum was attached to which thing. But that is a quick tutorial on how to uh, use Pitch Bend in Groove Agent. I hope this has been helpful. Feel free to like or subscribe and take care, everybody. Bye.